Rabbits may be tiny annoyances and attention seekers who take over your life and ruin your furnishings. If you are not prepared to provide the kind of care that rabbits require, you may find yourself resenting your new pet rather than falling in love with a fluffy new buddy. Rabbits are not suitable as first-time pets. They can be almost as difficult to care for as a regular dog. Before adopting a bunny, it is critical to understand its numerous characteristics, which can pose distinct issues for any naive new rabbit carer. Rabbits need a lot of space. Rabbits are not the kind of pet that can be happy living in a small cage. They need an enclosure that gives them enough space to sprawl out and hops around whenever they want to. Unfortunately, most cages that are sold and marketed toward rabbits are much too small for them. A rabbit's enclosure should be at least three to four times their full length when they are sprawled on the ground, and it should be tall enough to allow the rabbit to stand up on their hind legs without hitting its head. You'll need to aim to give your rabbit at least three to four hours of exercise per day to help them stay healthy and release pent up energy. The easiest way to give your rabbits the exercise they need is to allow them to hang out with you and roam the room while you get ready in the morning and relax in the evening, treating your rabbit as a companion pet like you would a cat or dog. Rabbits need a lot of attention. Rabbits are social animals and are prone to boredom and even depression if they are left alone too long. If you are keeping a single rabbit, you must provide them with a lot of attention and interaction in order to keep your rabbit happy and healthy. This means you need to make time in your daily schedule to socialize with your rabbit. I like to spend time reading on the floor so that my rabbits can come up to me to be pets or interact. You could also let your rabbit hang out with you while you watch TV or go about your at-home schedule. Whatever you can do to include your rabbit in your daily life will be beneficial to them. Rabbits shed a lot. Rabbits shed a lot and you will find rabbit fur everywhere. Their fur will find its way into your morning coffee and onto all of your clothes. It will even find its way up to your nose. This means you might even have to deal with allergies. Just like cats and dogs, people can be allergic to pet rabbits, so it's best to be prepared for that possibility. Rabbits typically have four shedding seasons in a year. Two will be big, fur-filled seasons where your rabbit changes from summer to winter coat and vice versa. There will also be two smaller shedding seasons in between that will be less noticeable. To make matters a little more difficult to deal with, most rabbits hate being groomed. There are certainly exceptions, but rabbits have sensitive skin which makes them dislike the feeling of a comb or brush. You'll probably have to deal with a very squirmy rabbit while you help them shed their coat and get rid of the extra fur. Rabbit hay is not easy to clean. Hay is the main food in a rabbit's diet. It's vital for keeping their digestion healthy and preventing illnesses such as GI stasis. This comes with its own setbacks, however. Hay tends to get into everything, sticking to clothing and getting caught in carpeted flooring. If your rabbit is a messy eater, most rabbits are, then you're going to find yourself spending a lot of time cleaning up hay. The problem is that hay likes to clog up pipes and tubes that are uses to clean it up. It will get stuck in your vacuum, making you have to unclog the tubes frequently. Use a vacuum that has easily removable parts to make cleaning a little easier. You also want to avoid ever cleaning hay out in a bathtub or sink, because you will end up with a clog. Rabbits can suddenly get very sick. As prey animals, rabbits have evolved to hide their weaknesses. In the wild, this would have helped them to survive by preventing them from being picked off by a predator. As pets, however, this means that it's difficult to know if a rabbit is sick until they are very sick. You need to learn the subtle signs of illness and pay close attention to your rabbit's behavior so that you can catch the symptoms in time to help your rabbit. Common signs of sickness in rabbits include A change in eating habits A change in litter box habits Sitting in a hunched position A change in energy levels Drooling Very hot or very cold ears Lack of balance or head tilt Matted fur around eyes and nose Mouth breathing Abscesses or bumps Excessive ear scratching Matted or balding fur Unexplained aggressive behavior Rabbits thump very loudly For the most part, rabbits are very quiet pets They don't bark loudly like dogs, or meow at you to get your attention They don't even make loud squeaking sounds that most small furry pets make That's why it can come as a surprise when you hear a rabbit thump all of a sudden It will sound like a large textbook suddenly hit the ground flat on its side Rabbits thump either because they are scared or because they are angry. It stems from their instincts to warn their family group, their warn of rabbits, of incoming danger. It's also used to angrily warn off any unfamiliar rabbits to let them know they are not welcome. For most house rabbits, thumping is not common. However, once they start thumping they will often continue for several minutes at a time, making a racket with their hind legs. 
This can be really frustrating if your rabbit decides to start thumping in the middle of the night or annoys any neighboring apartments with their loud thumps. Rabbits are bigger than you think. When most people think of a rabbit, they imagine a small, almost pocket-sized animal. They might expect an adult rabbit to reach a maximum of 2 pounds. The reality is, there are only a few breeds of rabbit who remain that small. An average-sized rabbit grows to be around 5 to 6 pounds, but there are many breeds that reach sizes of 10 plus pounds. That's larger than many house cats. Even small dwarf breeds of rabbits are bigger than people expect, typically reaching 3 or 4 pounds as adults. So make sure you take the full-grown size of your rabbit into consideration when setting up their enclosure and living space. Rabbit poop tells you a lot about their health. Rabbits poop a lot. On average a rabbit will poop about 200 times in a day. This is because a rabbit's health depends on the constant movement of their digestion. As a result, your rabbit's litter box leavings can give you a number of hints about the health of your rabbit. A healthy rabbit fecal pellet will look almost exactly like a cocoa puff. It will be a small brown ball with very little scent, and it will not be squishy. When your rabbit's poop deviates from the norm, you can have an early sign that something is wrong with their health. For animals who hide their weaknesses, this can be a vital early sign of illness in rabbits. For example, if you find your rabbit is suddenly giving you poops that are half their typical size, you'll know that something is stressing your rabbit or causing them pain. If you see a lot of fur stringing along with the fecal pellets, you know it's time to brush your rabbit. Rabbits have a specialized diet. Rabbits have a unique and sensitive digestive system. They need to eat a high amount of fiber to keep their digestion moving, with a low amount of sugary and starchy foods. Without the correct balance, your rabbit could easily end up sick from an improper diet. The main part of your rabbit's diet should be grass-based hay. You'll want to make sure your rabbit has an unlimited supply available because they'll need to munch on this consistently throughout the day and night. The second most important part of a rabbit's diet is fresh leafy greens. You should give your rabbit 1-2 to two cups of fresh greens every day to give them a variety of nutrients and keep them healthy with a wholesome diet. Pellets, a dry food, should actually only be given in moderation. While you might be able to get away with giving a cat or dog a bowl full of dry food to last the day, rabbits only need about 1 quarter cup. They'll likely finish their pellets very quickly, but don't worry about their empty bowl. It will encourage your rabbit to eat more of the hay, which is more essential to their health. Sugary treats, including carrots, apples, and other sweet fruits and vegetables, should only be given in moderation. Make sure to cut up any treats into small pieces and only offer a couple to your rabbit every day. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.